Father, we praise you and we thank you because you have given us the promised Holy Spirit to help us when we are in calamitous situations, when it seems like we are surrounded by confusion, when it seems like the world is falling apart around us, you have been faithful to provide us with his wisdom and counsel. We need you, Holy Spirit, to fill our streets. We need you, Holy Spirit, to fill our classrooms. We need you to be a divine teacher and trainer and coach to our police force and to our teachers. We ask that you would ease the minds and hearts of our teachers and police officers. Many of them have not developed the eyes to see and the ears that truly hear in order to discern the spiritual activity that may stir up in them when calamity strikes. Give our teachers and police officers a spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they may know you, your will, and your ways for the people that they serve. Just as you have given us your armor to stand against our spiritual enemies, let our police officers and teachers walk in the revelation of participating as divine guardians and protectors against natural enemies, emotional enemies, and intellectual enemies. Holy Spirit, we need you to make divine arrests in the hearts and minds of our police officers and teachers because there are spirits that are going to work in them that are trying to create unnecessary casualties both physically and mentally. Break the scales off of the eyes of the police officers and teachers that's causing them to misread and misunderstand the atmospheres, neighborhoods, and classrooms that they are called to protect and bring good news to. We pray that you will give them eyes to perceive the inheritance that you have hidden in our students and also see them as fellow citizens. Father, just as Paul reminded the centurions who held him captive that he was a Roman citizen who had rights and did not deserve to be flogged prior to being found guilty, we pray that our teachers and police officers who are entering into our territories, classrooms, and schools will remember that they are first called to protect citizens just as even the angels are in charge of protecting God's children who are citizens of heaven. We pray that classroom teachers will remember that they are called to build, protect, and fortify the minds of our students and that our students are citizens with them. Father, give our police officers and teachers an agape love that still allows them to see our students as fellow citizens who have the same rights as them so that our students will be treated justly and fairly. Lord, we pray that the police officers are called back to the place of guarding people and their rights and their freedoms. Lord, we pray that teachers will get back to the place of guarding the minds of our students, guarding the morals of our students, and guarding the societal standards of our students. May our teachers and police officers return to the basic principle of meeting the needs of those who are facing false and demonic accusations. Father, we ask that you would even hold back teachers and police officers who lack the faith and the fortitude to handle escalated situations. Instead, dispatch the officers and teachers and counselors and administrators who carry humility, dignity, and power to overcome the schemes of the wicked one. Holy Spirit, lead police officers and teachers into these situations who have tasted and exercised the power from on high. May our teachers and police officers tap into the love that enables them to be overcomers and more than conquerors in Christ Jesus over any domestic dispute, conflict, and accusation that would try to separate our students from experiencing your love. And it is in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we pray. Amen. Hey, if you found this video to be informative and helpful in any form or fashion, make sure you click the like button and also subscribe to this channel for future content.